Disney Springs has been closed since March 17th and it just reopened on May 20th. This only included third party restaurant and shops, nothing Disney related. On May 27th, World of Disney will be opening to the public, but I wanted to check out Disney Springs while it was in its own phase one of reopening. Disney, don't talk about me when I'm First, as soon as we got there, we were to park in the orange garage. Now they have three now, I think lime, grapefruit, and orange. We always park in the lime garage, but that one was closed off, so I don't know if it was just full because I did see some people like going up the escalators to their car and they had security down there and stuff. So I don't know if that one just got too full and we had to park in the orange garage. I don't know. But the parking situation was different than Universal. If you saw my last video, we went to City Walk and all the cars were like, it was two cars in a space, two cars in a space, but at Disney Springs, they just had like the regular parking ways. Even though it looks like they spaced out, I think they just did that on their own because as you can see, everyone can just park next to each other. Once we get out the car, we put our masks on and we head to the temperature checkpoint. <laughs> temperature checkpoint. Same as Universal, they check your temperature. If it's over, I think 100.4, then you can't go in. And they have stickers on the floor that are like, stand here. As we were walking up to get our temperature check, they had a cast member there who was welcoming everybody and she was so nice and I was so happy to see the name tags again. And just getting to talk to the cast members, like I felt this need to talk to them, ask them how their day is, or just like say thank you. I don't know, it was like word vomit, I just couldn't help it. <laughs> and I just felt the need to say hi to everybody. <laughs> I was just so happy to be back there and it was so much fun. After they check our temperature, we just go downstairs. I didn't see them wiping down the escalator railings like they did at Universal. I just wanted to add in here that just because I didn't see them doing it doesn't mean that they weren't doing it. Um, they even tied up the bins so that you didn't have to like push on it to open it, which was nice because I hate doing that. I always like kick it with my foot. I saw them wiping down a lot of things like door handles, the bins. Uh, they were wiping down the Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty statues. But just because I didn't see them wiping down the railing doesn't mean that they weren't doing it. So I just wanted to say that because I'm really thankful for the custodial cast members. I know that's not an easy job and they were doing great, so yeah. But once we walked down, you could just see how open and empty it is. And that was really interesting to see it empty. They had a security guard downstairs who was next to this like hand washing station, which was cool. It was like a portable sink with soap. It wasn't just like the um, hand sanitizer, which they had as well, but this was a little bit different. So at that point, we are by the Coca-Cola shop and Planet Hollywood. The Coca-Cola shop was closed, but Planet Hollywood was open. Chicken Guy was open and it had a crazy line outside which is nothing new because it always has a crazy line and we still didn't get to eat there yet I really want to try it out it's like my favorite chicken nuggets with all the sauces <laughs> and then I had to be weird and go check out the bathroom to see what signs they had in there uh, so they had this one that said please wash your hands for 20 seconds after that we were just walking through like that breezeway type thing and just checking out which shops were open one of my favorite shops there is the sugar boo and co I think so we were in there they had somebody outside every shop I'm sure they were like counting who was going in and just like greeting and stuff and all the shops had stickers on the floor uh, different types it was kind of cute to see like the different shops with the different stickers I know it sounds weird but it just was <laughs> they are open every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. which is really interesting because they aren't like limiting the hours at all but I honestly felt like it was so so empty after Sugarboo and Co <laughs> we went to Anthropology which is expensive for what it is like low-key but anyway we went to anthropology and then we went to Uniqlo which is my favorite shop at Disney Springs I feel like it's really fairly priced they had really cute clothes you could only enter in one way and go out the other and they had arrows on the floor that were pointing in the way that you have to walk around because that shop is really big like the sugar boo it's that's so funny <laughs> the sugar boo shop uh they just had one way in one way out so yeah <laughs> 
but Uniqlo had some really cute shirts. I wanted to buy all of them, like the new designs that they were coming out with. It's just so cute. And most of their t-shirts are only like $15 each, so I think that's a really fair price for like a Disney type shirt. It's like something you could get at Target, and honestly, maybe it's cheaper than Target because sometimes... After Uniqlo, we were just walking around to like the Disney area just to check that out. Uh, World of Disney looked so sad and closed and I just wanted to go in so badly but I'm really excited to go next week on Wednesday. So today is Saturday when I'm filming this and then we're going to go on Wednesday when that opens as well. But I wanted to get two different perspectives as like going when Disney shops weren't open and then you know going when the Disney shop is open it'll be so different and I'm just so thankful for all those cast members like walking around in the mask in that heat is so difficult we were probably there for about an hour just because I really wanted to get uh, as much footage as I could and to be honest we did it in two separate days because it got really really hot. It was actually 97 degrees when we decided to go. Probably shouldn't have gone at like 2 in the afternoon but my fault. <laughs> we went, we wore the masks and all the cast members walking around in the heat like the custodial cast members or guest relations, anyone who is like working outside, it's hot so uh, I'm happy that you're back. I appreciate you. After looking around at the Disney shop from the outside they did have the lights on so you could kind of peek around inside uh, everything looks so nice and neat and ready to be opened but we went to Starbucks after that because we were really thirsty and I forgot to bring my water so we got two cups of water they have like a little table where they bring the drinks out to you so you like stand behind it and then they just bring it down put it on the table and then you pick it up and go now we are hydrated and we were going to basin which is Curtis's favorite shop and I love all the smells in there. I was on the hunt for a candle and I was hoping that they would have candles but they didn't. They only have like soaps and like bath bombs and actually I saw this one section of shower bombs and I was like what the heck is that? So of course we had to buy one and try it out. We just got back in the car. We are on the way home from Disney Springs and I'm a little, a little red and toasty in here but we went to a few different shops. They only have a few open of course and we went to Basin in, which is one of our favorite shops. <laughs> oh, our. We don't have a bath, we only have a shower. And then I saw these. So I got something that I had never seen before. It was called a shower bomb. It was $5. And I let Curtis choose it because it is his favorite shop. Tell everybody that it is, I swear. Okay, but my problem is like, why do people get upset or like make fun of guys who like We're not making fun of you. smell good? I'm not making fun of you. Why well, isn't they, it should, they, they won't make fun of like you. Like good smelling things. But this one, this is what it looks like. And she said just to put it in the corner of the shower. It says, place shower bomb on shower floor just outside of a direct spray of water. A small amount of water is required to release therapeutic aromas. Like lemons and joy? Yeah, this one's called Happiness. Curtis's favorite scent is like lemon, uh, citrusy scents. So it was between this one and the Satsuma, which is my favorite one. But I thought I'd be nice and like, oh, he's so sweaty. I thought I would be nice and let him pick. And like I said, it was only $5. She said it would last like three or four times. So we'll see how it goes. They have a deal of three for 12. Yeah, three for 12. That's it. Well, you save $3, so that's not that's cool. Like they also had an annual pass holder discount, which was really nice. It was 10%. So save those pennies. Upon using it yesterday, I discovered it's basically a bath bomb, but instead of it being round, it's just flat. So it's like a cute shape, but it's just flat. And you put it in the corner of your shower and like when it gets wet, it just puts off a good smell. So we got the lemon one and it does smell really good, but it's basically just a bath bomb that doesn't roll around. That makes sense. That was a good purchase. It was only $5, so I would recommend that. <laughs> and then we continue to walk around the Disney related side. All right, so my shadow is super annoying, but you can tell that they are hopefully getting ready to open. Here's the photo pass station, and they have these going all the way back here, but it's pretty quiet. Oh, there's kids. <laughs> like, if you know Disney Springs, where the train is, where they have the outside margarita bar that was closed of course most of the little stands were closed i found one way in the back um that's the left-handed shop which was open so that was like super random it was just way in the back like nothing else around there was open i don't know if earl of sandwich was open to be honest and i can't find the list on my phone it was getting really hot so i tried to explore that area but it was just kind of hard i don't know 
we didn't make a full round just because like you know the Christmas shop and Goofy's and all that was closed so we didn't go all the way around there but I made it to like the train and then I was like okay let's go you know and I was standing underneath a uh, stitch you know that like spits out the water because I was like please <laughs> cool me down I am so thankful for the cast members that are coming back and I can't wait to see everybody at World of Disney I'm super interested to see how they are going to do that because that is a huge shop and it's definitely going to bring a lot more traffic because this is the first Disney thing that is opening since uh, March. So Disney, I'm already trained in merchandise if you would like to give me a call. I'm here, I'm waiting. <laughs> Disney Springs right now was like kind of dead. Um, it didn't seem busy at all as you can see from the video. But I feel like when they do open World of Disney, and I think they're opening like the co-op, the marketplace, um, I know it's going to bring a ton of people in because they want their Disney fix, you know? That will be a really fun video to film for next week. Everyone, for the most part, was abiding by the rules. Everyone had a mask on. Um, it was cute to see everybody's Disney masks that they had on. I had that on the first time that we went. Um, it was like this pink one, and it was so itchy and hot, and I was like, we have to go. Like, I'm not just going to walk around with the mask off. So I was like, okay, I can't do this. Like, let's leave, and we can come back tomorrow. So I or like that uh, blue fabric one, not fabric, the blue cloth one. So that one really made a difference. I don't know if you're like between both. I still stand by the fact that if you can't or don't want to wear a mask, then you shouldn't go because it is really difficult at times. I'm not complaining, saying like, I don't think we should wear them. I just think that if you don't want to wear it, then you shouldn't go. I was happy enough to wear it for the time being, but when it got too hot, we left and that's what you can do. Whether or not you think the mask is important, it's still the rules. So if you don't want to follow the rules, then you can't go. I think I covered just about everything. It's basically the same rules and guidelines that you have seen everywhere else. You know, everyone's wearing masks in one door, out another door, temperature check, like I said, I think the real fun is gonna come next week when World of Disney is open. So that is really exciting. Um, that's gonna be a super fun video. This one, I guess it's more informative a little bit, but it's also, I feel like it's kind of repetitive. It's what we all already know. Well, that is it for this video. Remember to treat everybody with kindness. And if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. I will see you when we go to World of Disney next week. Bye.